He is continuing to push forward to try to make more and more money off of the backs of these innocent creatures. It's fine. Vegan donut. Your... What? <laughs> when he's rubbing the pig meat. What? I'm just marinating some pork. Gordon Ramsay, in another video, he's never changed, is still promoting the rape, the torture, the abuse, the kidnapping, the sadness, and the murder of innocent animals who never did one single thing wrong to him ever. I thought Gordon Ramsay was a chef, not an animal assassin. One of his videos, and in another one, he is talking about what we, uh, promoting basically cheese in this dip. He's promoting all kinds of violent products. Cheese comes from a cycle of violence. But cheese comes from cows, doesn't it? Anyway, this sweet old woman is that vegan teacher. Canadian internet personality. Right, Dodged the bullet there, America, didn't you? Animal rights activist and former teacher. She is mostly known for promoting veganism in what some might consider to be controversial ways. For example, comparing us filthy meat eaters to racists. Mayonnaise comes from a cycle of violence, butter, all of these things that he promotes. Mayonnaise could be vegan, cheese could be vegan, but he makes a point, the butter could be vegan, there's all vegan versions of this. But instead, he doesn't care. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not showing this in my video. I almost forgot she's got a habit of showing shocking images on her own channel designed to put people off meat and eat. Meat and eat? I think I probably meant eating meat. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the butter could be vegan, and so could the cheese if the person who was gonna eat it chose to use vegan alternatives of those foods. In the pork industry, the same process begins with the farmer collecting the male pig's sperm by masturbating the boar's penis. The farmer then inserts the sperm into the female pig's vagina in order to impregnate her. Once the mother pig gives birth, she is confined to a metal device called a farrowing crate where she is unable to move or turn around to see her babies. All of her piglets will have their teeth clipped and their tails cut off. This is what Gordon Ramsay promotes. Now I love watching Gordon Ramsay and never ever have I heard him talking about wanking off a pig. I've seen him cook pork loads of times and when he makes roast pork, I will admit he does get a little bit over enthusiastic when he's rubbing the pig meat. What? I'm just marinating some pork. And if I'm being completely honest, I've always found it a little bit erotic. He is encouraging people to buy products that come from this cycle of violence. Instead of saying, from now on, all of my restaurants will be vegan. Instead of saying, from now on, all of my recipes will be vegan. Instead of saying, I was wrong. I was a fucking asshole. I treated these animals terribly. Instead of doing that, he is continuing to push forward to try to make more and more money off of the backs of these innocent creatures. You do realise he doesn't actually go out and kill the animals himself, don't you? But even if he did, could you blame him? Pork is delicious! And if we weren't meant to eat pigs, then why make them from pork and bacon and sausages? Doesn't make any sense. And this is really making me hungry. With no pain relief, unhealthy piglets are deemed a waste product and are slammed against a concrete wall or floor by... How would he have liked it if one of his children was born slightly different than the rest? If there was somebody, a doctor, had taken them and smashed their heads on the cement? Now obviously I am not condoning pig smashing or any other activity that needlessly harms animals. But on what planet does it seem reasonable to compare the two things? A person's child versus a newborn pig. And you wonder why you get so much hate aimed at you. It's because you're completely nuts, love. How many animals have you personally rescued from certain death? As part of your activism, I mean. Or are you one of those activists that just likes to scream and shout about how terrible we all are, but you don't really want to go out there and get your hands dirty? Like the poor guy in the video. I've blurred it out for obvious reasons. But imagine being him. Did he go to see the careers advisor when he was at school and say, this is what I want to do for a living? <laughs> Can you imagine what his CV looks like? Current occupation, pig wanker. Farmers. This is standard practice in the pork industry. When the pigs are only six months old, they are sent to the slaughterhouse to be killed. Look at them on the trucks. They don't give them food or water for days before they go on there because they don't want them to pee or poo or vomit. Torture! Holocaust! This is what Gordon Ramsay continues to promote. Excuse me? Holocaust? You're comparing the way the meat industry treats pigs to the Holocaust, which was the systematic, 
bureaucratic, state-sponsored persecution and murder of about six million Jewish men, women and children. How the hell does this woman still have a channel? Now she got deplatformed from TikTok and lost her 1.7 million followers for almost the same thing. So you think she would have learned a lesson, but clearly not. The Holocaust never ended for the animals. It was wrong to do that to the Jews. It is wrong to treat any sentient beings as lesser than just because you consider them to be different. Gordon Ramsay is in fact a racist person because this is racism. Prejudice, discrimination or antagonism by an individual, community or institution against a person or people on the basis of their membership to a particular racial or ethnic group. Typically one that is a minority or is marginalized. Now I'm not really sure why I felt the need to check I already knew there was no mention of pigs or any other animal in the dictionary definition of racism, but you know, leave no stone unturned and all that good stuff. Eating pork is definitely not an act of racism, and anyone that says it is, is a selfish and hateful idiot. Yeah, I've decided to give it a new definition. It doesn't just refer to humans, it now also refers to other species. People have a word for that. It's called speciesism. We'll say speciesism then. That was a bit tricky to say. You horrible excuse for a human being. The same thing seemed to be applying here as in some of my religious themed videos. A person with a different belief system to you is not always a worse person than you are, nor are they any better. They are just a person that believes something different to you, which is fine in most cases. But apparently, that doesn't sink in, so I'm going to use the word racism so that you get it. It is wrong to harm people, any sentient beings or animals, because of the color of their skin, because of the amount of legs that they have, or their intellect level. People, yes, I agree it's wrong to harm another person, but a pig isn't a person. And before you get your knickers in a twist, and I know a lot of people feel the same way about animals, I don't think it's right that some people choose to deliberately harm animals. But that's not what this is. This is giving people the ability, and more importantly, the choice to eat what they want. If someone chooses to be a vegan, then I respect their choice, because it's their choice, in the same way as it's my choice, along with billions of other people, to eat meat. It is wrong to abuse the innocent. We must defend them. In the pork industry, pigs are lowered into a CO2 gas chamber where they will suffocate and burn from the inside out. How would Gordon Ramsay like it if he was in a gas chamber like this? This is what we did to the Jews in World War II and it was wrong. Racism is wrong, speciesism is wrong. Okay, well what about ramming veganism down people's throats then? Is that wrong or is that perfectly acceptable because vegans are far superior to us lot? And if you do this to animals, how the fuck can you live with yourself? Finally, they will then be hung upside down and have their throats slit. This is your bacon. That was your bacon, your sausage and your ham. This video called don'twatch.org, you must watch it. It's only six minutes long. It will tell you about all of the animals in the industry. Gordon Ramsay, you're the one who deserves this kind of misery. Uh, Gordon Ramsay's a chef. He cooks. That's what chefs do. Are you saying that he deserves to die because he eats meat? And I assume Everyone else that eats meat deserves the same thing, in your opinion. Do you even realise how that sounds? And more importantly, the sort of person that makes you? But I suppose unless it's an animal that's calling you out, you're not going to care, are you? Here's a quote. It's always possible to wake somebody up from sleeping, but it's impossible to wake someone up who is pretending to sleep. That is what Gordon Ramsay is doing right now. He knows what goes on in these industries. He knows about the chickens, the cows, the fish, the lambs, the turkeys, all of these innocent animals who never did a single thing wrong. He knows about it, but he's pretending to sleep. What business is it of yours? Have you ever stopped to think what would happen if everybody in the world suddenly stopped eating meat? The world would be overrun by horny little pigs all looking for a cheeky hand job. Now I'm sure there are some statistics out there somewhere that would show the point I'm trying to make, 
But if I'm being completely honest, I just can't be asked to look them up. You're just not that important, the vegan teacher, Miss Katie Karen. Yep, that's right, she's a Karen. Even though you are oozing with self-importance and this holier-than-thou act that isn't fooling anybody, by the way, you're just a hateful, racist scumbag masquerading as an activist. There are literally thousands of creators like me making videos about you and some of the disgusting things you say, but oddly enough, you only ever seem to make replies to the big channels. You know, the ones with millions of subscribers, the really well-known ones, the ones that may or may not get you some additional exposure and benefit you in some way? How much of the money you make here on YouTube goes directly to any of the animal rights organizations that you claim to be fighting for? In the dairy industry, they take these baby cows away from their mothers. First, they masturbate the males. They force them to give their sperm. Are you okay with bestiality? Well, apparently Gordon Ramsay is all for it because this is what he pays for. This is what he tells you to buy. Products that come from this incredible, disgusting bestiality, this slavery. Hang on a second. I don't think I've ever seen Gordon Ramsay telling anyone to go out and torture an animal. Cook a steak, yeah. Toss off a pig. No, not that I can remember anyway. Disgusting. Leave animals the fuck alone. The farmer masturbates the cow's penis. Once the sperm has been collected, the female cow is restrained whilst the farmer inserts their arm into the cow's anus. To Does this seem normal to you? To shove your entire fist inside of a female who is strapped down? Has any of you ever been sexually violated? Raise your hand. Do not compare the abuse of a human being to the artificial insemination of a farm animal. Because at the end of the day, that's all this is. What about the millions of people that work in the meat and dairy industries? What happens to them and their families when the whole world goes vegan? You ridiculous woman. You not agreeing with something doesn't by default make it what you claim it to be. Now I'm sure that I read that Gordon Ramsay's worth 220 million quid. Why doesn't he just sue this twisted bent into oblivion? See how she feels about defending animals when she doesn't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. But if you're looking for suitable employment, there's always a demand for pig wankers, or so I've heard. Are you okay with this? I'm not okay with it. Hold the cervix in place. Then a metal rod is used to insert the sperm into the cow's vagina. Look at her. Look at her head down there. Push down, shove down, like she is some sort of an object. If you are a feminist, or if you care about females, if you have a mother, or a daughter, or a grandmother, or a cousin, any female, how would you feel if somebody did this to them? Now, I don't want to come across as ridiculous as Miss Katie Karen here, but I have, or have had, most of those things. I've got a wife, and a mother, and I used to have two grandmothers, and they all had one thing in common. Come here and I'll tell you. None of them were cows. Don't hurt animals! Leave animals the fuck alone! Gordon Ramsay, you are an animal abuser. You should be in jail for the crimes that you have committed. I am the voice of the animals speaking in their defense. They cannot come to court. They do not speak your language, but they have the same feelings as you do. They have the same desire to live. How dare you take away their lives, their freedom, their babies. Oh my word, she is actually acting as if Gordon Ramsay is solely responsible for any animal that dies anywhere in the world. He buys his meat from a butcher, love. Like 99% of all meat eaters. None of us are going out into the fields and sneaking up on cows from behind, you know? When the mother gives birth, her baby is taken from her so that the milk intended for her calf can be sold to humans. If her baby is male, he is considered a waste product in the dairy industry and is usually killed within a week. How would you like it, Gordon Ramsay, if someone had taken away one of your babies, your baby boy, and done that to them? Kidnapped your baby from you. Well, at this stage, I'm fairly confident that there is no way this video is getting monetized. But when I hear this lunatic saying things like that, 
I just really don't care. Now we know Gordon is aware of this nut job and some of the things she says about him, but can you imagine how it must make him and his family feel to hear him being accused of what she's accusing him of and to hear her comparing the lives of his children to the lives of an animal? Now I'm not saying that an animal wouldn't choose life over being smothered in mustard between two slices of bread if they could, but they can't. That's the reality of it. And what about animals that eat other animals, you know, like lions and tigers, for example? Is it somehow okay to eat an animal if you're an animal? Or am I missing something here? Why? Because they wanted your wife's milk. How would you like that? Then they pin down your wife and they take her milk against her will. We have no right to touch animals this way at all. Leave animals alone. Stop breeding them into existence to begin with. We must have a vegan world. Everyone must be vegan. I'd rather bite my own leg off and eat that than become vegan. Especially when there are people like you trying to ram it down my throat. Veganism, I mean, not my leg. <laughs> it baffles me that activists like you seem to think that they're doing any good in the world. All you're doing is making the vegan lifestyle a lot less appealing because if being a vegan means you have to be a complete douchebag as well, then I'll give it a miss. Now maybe today you got a few clicks when you saw what happens to the pigs, the chickens and the cows. And maybe just hearing me talk about hey, Gordon Ramsay, maybe that's three or four. I urge you to stay on this channel and get the rest of your 100 clicks. Some people get them in a day. They watch my channel non-stop and see everything and they say, oh my God, I have to be vegan. Do they though? Or are they watching your channel and saying to themselves, if being a vegan means being like you, I'd rather stick with meat. Because that's what your videos do for me. Now respond to this video, Miss Katie Karen. And I know you won't respond to little old me. I've only got 55,000 subscribers. And who the hell knows who the creaky blinder is? But you seem to be okay to do it with huge channels like the Beast or Snipe the Wolf to name but a few. Anyway, before I go, one quick question. How do you know if somebody's a vegan? They'll tell you. <laughs> all right, all right, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the creaky blinder.